Hi campers, this is Darren with My RV Works. Today we're in Carlsborg, Washington, and as you see behind me, we've got a broken window. So I figured, well, hey, it's a great opportunity to uh, show you how to replace a window on an RV. So let's get busy. Okay, so obviously the first thing we have to do is take off the plastic. So I'm just going to take a razor blade and cut around it. We don't need to take the plastic off. We just need to cut it where it's attached to the RV. All the screws is going to all the screws are going to be on the inside. So we'll take you there first, but. You'll, I just wanted to tell you that step one, take the plastic off. Now, interestingly, this was a Swintech slide room with the three rails and everything. We had to totally replace this entire assembly. And so we're here like maybe a year later. And um, it's good to see my screws are still holding. My seal looks good. My Everything's still holding in, in together. So hopefully I'll get another opportunity to do an entire replacement of this in-wall Schwintech system and we'll show you that but that's not this video that's another one but it's just it's neat to come back maybe a year later and see that it's, it's still looking good so. Okay, so we got all, the customer put the, t uh, the plastic bag over to keep the rain from coming in while the window was being ordered and delivered. And, and that takes, gosh, two to three weeks sometimes, maybe longer. Uh, so to find your window, uh, bear with me, I'm having allergies. We're in a lot of this grass and it's just got me going crazy. So just hang with me, we'll get through this together. Uh, I'm on an Allegra and everything and it's just still like, ah. So um, rock goes through a window, what do you do? Oh my gosh, you call Meyer Works. Okay, well, what are we gonna do? We're going to come out and we're going to do some rough measurements of that window, but more specifically, if it's a newer RV, we're going to go to your VIN number and we're going to call your manufacturer to try to see if crossing of fingers, we can actually get a window from the manufacturer. And that way, everything the fit and finish is all the same. If that fails, there are some aftermarket companies that can get you the window. Um, there are a few out there off the top of my head. I can't think of any, um, but... Uh, Another another option is there's some RV graveyards, salvage yards if your RV is older, um, and you can get them that way. So anyway, so let's jump to the part where you have the window. So this has been going on for several weeks. Uh, we came out, we did a measurement, a uh, rough measurement, so that when we're talking to the manufacturer, it's like, yep, it's the one that's four feet by two feet or whatever this is. We got the VIN number. Um, and then uh, shipping is expensive on this. So just just the shipping alone <laughs> was like 200 bucks on this thing. So don't get sticker shocked if you realize that a window this size is gonna cost quite a bit. Now on the inside, we're gonna have to take this window box off. It's really simple, don't be intimidated by this. There's these little little angle brackets, just a couple screws and this whole window box just get, is gonna get out of the way. And do, do that because you need to get to some screws and, and it's great if this is just not in the way. Get it out of here. We'll put it back when we're done. And then I'll bring in a little bit closer here in a second, but there's all these screws. Must be like a million of them. I don't know. But all these screws all the way around, and that is a bezel that's holding the window. So if this is the RV wall right here, you have a window on the outside, then this bezel's kind of sandwiching that window in place. So we're going to uh, take the window box out, and uh, we might need to re reuse these little twisty knobs. Sometimes they ship them with the new window. Sometimes they don't. Um, same with the screens. So we'll find out what they what they shipped us for 200 bucks. <laughs> now the window itself was hundreds of dollars. Uh, I don't remember the number. I can look that up and let you know if you have a window this size, but this is a pretty expensive thing just because the window is expensive and the shipping is expensive. Um, the labor is not a major expense. Uh, I think the Spader book rate is like an hour and a half to swap one of these things out is I think what Spader's rate is. And we go by the Spader RV um, flat rate guy. Um, so anyway, that's where we're at right now. So I'm going to start getting this stuff out of the way and we're going to get all these screws out and then we'll have, um, uh, I'll have somebody on the other side. This is also a two person job. One person needs to be on the outside or one person on the inside. The windows aren't heavy, but they're awkward. So uh, with that, I'm going to get some allergy relief <laughs> and then we'll, we'll take all these window boxes off. Okay. So let's do that next. So taking off the window box, it's pretty straightforward. I, I didn't show you that part because yours might be different so what's the point right so what they have here is these little clips now I'm gonna leave these clips on the wall uh, there's no point in taking the clip off right so I just need to take this screw off there's a clip at the top 
here and here. Okay. Now, the, this this particular one had many blinds. Now, some of you are going to have those pleated blinds, and those pleated blinds are going to be screwed into the top of the window box. Uh, this guy, his RV had pleated blinds, like the mini blinds, and um, you just just figure out how yours comes apart. This one has a little lever that you pull out and it comes apart. So in all of like a minute and a half, I had the window box out of the way with one, two, four screws. Okay, so it's worth doing. So where that leaves us is with all these screws all the way around. So there's no point in you watching me take these screws out, but the next time you see me, I'm gonna be having all these screws out and we'll pick you back up on the other side where I pop this bezel off. That's where you're going to need somebody on the other side that's gonna hold that window. I don't expect it to fall out because you're gonna have putty tape that's holding it there, but let's, what if we drop the window and it breaks? Oh, that would be terrible. So um, it's just good so you don't want it to fall. So um, I've got my esteemed colleague Dakota with me. And uh, hi world. Hi. Okay. And uh, he just had a birthday. He just turned nine years old. Woo! Look at that. Oh, he's a happy camper too. <laughs> so my buddy, give me a high five. All right. How's your boss? My boss, his boss is good. Okay. Your sister's still kind of, yeah. Yeah. Sister's kind of, yeah. Okay, folks, let's get back to work here. Uh, so what we've done is we've taken all these screws off. I have one screw right here holding this bezel in place, which is allegedly holding the window. Um, but so we've got the bezel loose. This is the inside bezel I was talking about. And um, so I'm going to go to the outside, and I've got my esteemed colleague here that's going to take this final screw out, and I'm going to try to get that window loose. Now, I might need to take a putty knife. Here we go. Uh, where are they all? Oh, here's one. Uh, one of these and uh, just kind of work around the edges of the window to get it to pop off and um, so that's that's what we're gonna be doing next okay so here we go go okay so take this so at this point the window is totally free for me to um, wedge out. So now I'm going to take this and just start working my way around and eventually it'll just give and we'll be able to get it out. Okay. Alright, now with this glare it's hard to see but I wanted to show you this is the top edge of the window right here and I'm going to take this and, and you'll see how if, if I push that I can, I can see it. Uh, it. This window wants to pop. Okay, So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep working this around until this window pops out. We showed you the close-up of that so now it, it's ready to come. It's it's ready to pop out. So we're just going to there we have our window the window's gone, I'm going to take this and just kind of scrape out all the old putty tape. Okay, so Okay, we're done. The window's out. Okay, let's pack up and go. <laughs> okay, so uh, next is to go play with that big box and um, start putting it back in. Okay, that's next. Okay, so since we have the window off and we have a little bit of uh, opportunity to clean, we're going to use some cleaner and, and get all the gooey stuff off. And um, this is called Rapid Adhesive Remover. Works pretty well. Um, and then I'm going to clean it with this, and then I'm going to hit it with some isopropyl alcohol to make it sterile. Uh, a lot of you might be doing some resealing on your RVs and you're wondering why sometimes the mold and everything grows in your back, um, your, your, your sealant. And a lot of times to combat that, I'll just sterilize everything with the alcohol. So we've got the window cleaned. Um, I've hit it with some of this adhesive remover. This stuff works great. And um, hit it with um, alcohol. Um, so rapid remover, adhesive remover, this stuff here, it really works very, very, very well. Prior to using this, I was using another product which is a little bit more, um, what do you want to say, it'll eat the paint off. So I've got it through body shops, but it would also get the adhesive off, like whenever I have to do a slide room and we have to redo all the 
the D seal, the wiper seal. They're, that's a big job. Um, so this product here has been working really, really well. I'll put a link down below, so I'll give a shout out to them. Also, these little putty knives that work great. The thing I like about these putty knives is, like, it, I kept it sharp. Actually, this is a brand new one. And uh, what you do is you just take a file and file another end on it. So I've got a couple that are like this long because I've used them so much. You just, every time you, you work on the plastic, you just file it smooth again. And uh, so as I do other products and things, there'll be links down in the description below. So if you find that these are products that you can use, click on the affiliate link. Yay! And I make a couple bucks and I'm excited about that. So now we're going to get back to work. Um, we'll bring the whole assembly over here to this uh, window and we'll tape up around it with that adhesive sticky tape, which we'll show you how we're doing that. And I'll put a link for that as well. How about that? And we'll put the whole window up and put the screws in and we'll get on to our next customer. I was just getting ready to come down the ladder and I, I don't know if you can see those mountains over there, but uh, um, you got some over here, still have some snow on them. And uh, over yonder ways, you got some mountains. But that would be your Olympic mountains, folks. Um, the views up here are spectacular. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you that bonus view down here. Don't take them for granted. Yeah. Um, and here we have the lovely assistant, Anne. Hi, Anne. <laughs> Don't take it for granted. Yeah, AKA <laughs> wife, um, business partner, and mother. But anyway, here we have the uh, window we're going to be working on. So we're going to move our little uh, camera girl whoop, whoop, and the tripod over there and start working on that as well. Some of the features I want to point out on this uh, window, you'll see right here this little spacer. Okay, you're going to have one here, you're going to have one over there, and then you're going to have one on the side. It's right here. I'm going to put it about their ways and one opposite. So that's going to keep that window spaced properly in the um, frame. So I'm going to hand this over to Ann. There we go. <coughs> So now, let me move the tripod. So what we've done is we've taken uh, alcohol, you just isopropyl alcohol, Walmart, 79 cents, and um, paper towel, and we've wiped out this track because I want to make sure my, my sticky's going to stick. So if it had any residue from this foamy stuff or manufacturing oil or something, this stuff's not going to stick. So I want to get that alcohol to really clean it. And um, let's see, I'm going to go, I'm going to start over there and go right around. So, I want my end piece, if I can, I want this to be one long piece, and I'd like it to end down here at the bottom. I think of it as a drip tray. I don't want any breaches around the top. So I'm right-handed dominant. So let's start right here. All right, and come see what we got going on over here. So you see, this is that uh, adhesive tape, and we'll pull the red part off as we get around it. Um, we're not going to be using any sealant around this window. This is going to be it. And uh, this is the same stuff that they use on the slide rooms, so uh, I have no problem using it here. Who loves allergies? Not me. So you see what I'm doing? I'll, I'll pick you back up when I get back to the bottom again. So we're at the bottom. It's one solid roll, one solid piece. And um, I'll put a link to this in the description as well. So if you were to do a slide room, a Schwintech slide room, this is the same sealant that they would use. Um, so at the bottom, I have a little gap. So if any water gets in, it's got a way to get out, okay? Um, some of you may have used a butyl tape or a putty tape or something like that here. And you might ask the question, well, Darren, why did you use double-sided um, foam tape on this? And the reason I did that is because that's exactly what the manufacturer used. So I'm using the same thing the manufacturer used. I don't pretend to be any smarter or wiser than what the engineer was that designed this. It didn't leak before, so I'm going to use the same product that they used. Theirs was gray, mine is black, but it's the same thing. Uh, had they used butyl tape, then I would have used butyl tape. Does that make sense? Um, also, had they put sealant around, I would have used sealant. So... Basically, I'm putting it back together the same way that it was when it came down. So if I could get this started. There we are. We will pull this off. So 
So one long piece of that. Um, and now this window's ready to go up there. We've already cleaned it. It's ready to go. We've cleaned this. We've stuck it. So it's just a matter of putting it up there. Making sure that our guides, our spacers are set correctly. I don't want anything to fall in my stickiness. This one's here as well. Okay, so now we're going to set you up on our tripod and we'll put the window in. Okay, so here comes the window. And here comes a helper. Yeah, oh, let go of it. You're messing up my balance. Okay. Okay, so it's perched. That's why I say it's a two-person job. So I'm going to take the camera on the inside, and we'll start closing it in. Now, on these windows, there's a groove. I'll show you a close-up of that here in a little bit. But right now, my focus is just getting it held in place, and we can fuss with it later. So that's one screw holding it. And like I said, I'm gonna show you this little groove that the screws are fitting into in just a second. Okay, the groove we're trying to shoot for, let me see if I, okay, okay, there it is. See that little groove? That is the screw groove that the bezel will capture. So as you see, I put my one screw in and um, what you're wanting to do is align your screw through that hole and catch, and, and catch that, that groove right in there. Now, remember our little spacers? Here we are down at the bottom of the window and my spacer's not there. So I need to see if my spacer fell off, but I do need to get my spacer down here. I do have a spacer over on this side, okay? And I do have it on the two sides. So the window's awkward a little bit, okay? So we're just gonna get a little bit of squareness in the thing. And then once the window is squared up, it's just a matter of just camping out with all these screws and just going to town. That was exciting. Um, flurry of activity. Those little spacers, a couple of them decided to, to not cooperate with us when we put the window in. So once we had the window stuck, we had to very gently unstick it to raise it up just a little bit and get it positioned. But we finally got it. The window squared up nice and pretty. Um, so we've got all of our screws on the inside. My match marks that I had made earlier when I took the window out, I didn't mention that part, but I've got match marks right where these brackets touch the frame all the way around. And so that matched up perfectly. And um, so the window is, is in, very stout. And so we'll sh we've opened the windows to give us some, some air here. Uh, and so we had to transfer the knobs from the old window to the new no window. Let's now take you outside and show you what the outside looks like and wrap this thing up and put a nice pretty bow on it. Okay, and here we have a very, very tight seal. So that sticky stuff we put behind this lip was really squished into the wall here and uh, so all the way around if we go up on top let's see here see, the problem i'm looking at a screen that's got a tremendous glare because it's so bright but, but in here uh there is a very nice seal as well if that makes sense and so there's our whole window seal on the inside so the rest of this is putting the window box back on the mini blinds back on and we'll go we'll go do that uh, right now. Well, there you go. Um, let's see. We've got our window boxes back on and our mini blinds. Ta-da! We have a window. How about that? So I'll do it about yonder ways. And you know what? Hey, guys, if this was helpful to you, if I had a value in any way, just give me a thumb up. That's how you can thank us. You could subscribe to our channel. It's going to make finding our channel easier. We've got a lot of videos out on repairs. Um, just go to YouTube and type in MyRVWorks and you'll find our channel that way. Um, 
lots of repairs so subscribe to our channel share it with your friends happy campers say my rv works and this is darren from carlsborg washington signing off until the next video